In the vast deep basements of the Balmora Fighters Guild, long have I served as the guardian of this level 90 doorway. I am Golden Self. Or Golden Self. Or Golden Self. Or Golden Self. Actually, that's not what I meant to do at all. Anyway, we're here, and we're back, and what are we doing? Where have we been? We have long been guarding this door. Uh, by the way, something else I discovered when I was setting that up. You can do this, like this, way out. Where did I this might just be because of more own graphics and sound, which lets you kind of play with the camera a little bit more. And you can actually see that there's that little chest in there, but you can also see that there's stuff that you can't see. So check out the texture on that. Not bad. Almost looks like what it would look like if you painted it, kind of loosely. You can, it's a little alien. It's got a little um, um, aliasing, I guess is what, what we'd call it. Like what it's called, like pixely edges. But whatever. And uh, why are we not? Oh, we're crouching. How can I help? Um, I still haven't turned that off as a toggle. We finished up with Has Fat last time. Oh yeah. And I called that episode "Take That Has Fat." I've been away a couple of days, as you, as you probably know. It took it took me a while to get from episode 13 to 14. And I'm recording this right after 15. Well, not right after, but I mean, um, it's the next episode I'm recording after 15. Uh, we have a lot of stuff right now. And it looks to me like we can take some of these with us, like 30 of them. Alright, and then we'll be fine. 149, perfect. We've got a fur helm. Wouldn't mind some of these restore helds. How much do they weigh? Uh, one each though, so we can't take any of them. But we'll come back for them. Um, I have a part of the, one of the things on the agenda today is I'm going to do a bunch of off-camera um, selling and um, uh, and and um, I, actually, I should have done that before. Um, but first, we're gonna go to Caius, uh, Caius Casares. What a nice little rainy day it is today here in Balmore. We'll go to Caius. We will go trade. I'm sorry. We're gonna just finish up with his his bit and uh, um, sort of get set off on what to do next, but not do it um, because instead we're gonna make for House Telvani and. Um, we're gonna join them, um, but but I'm also gonna probably come back after um, I do my little interlude with Caius and uh, show you what I've ended up with after doing my trading and um, little other stuff I have planned for the interlude that would be kind of boring to show, but um, ah, welcome. but that what we'll end up with some stuff out of. So orders, these are notes. Oh shoot, I didn't read them. Um, that's fine, though. They're just stuff he already told us. I, I did look at them off camera, so um, don't worry about it. Uh, I trust he didn't work. Basically, it's it's just saying all the stuff he said to us before, and um, nothing else that we won't already we won't learn soon anyway, or event you know like minor stuff. I'll look over them in more detail later. But now I have new orders. Okay, I've learned. I've glanced at these notes. They cover the sixth house admirably, but not the Nereverine cult. Hop on over to Balmora Mages Guild. It's right next to the Balmora Fighters Guild. Get Sharn Grimma's Gob to tell you what she knows about the Nereverine. She'll have some silly errand for you. Do what she asks, asks, and report back when she's given you the information. Now, it's tempting to do this too, to be honest. Um, more with history. Oh, look, we got a book. Oh, sweet. Okay, wait, we have more stuff to get out of him. Uh, Jeanette Sitz's little book is a great place to start. I have a copy. Uh, take it. You might also look for On Morrowind. Uh, he, we already have On Morrowind. It actually was just given to us by Hasfat, so it's odd that he's just that. Um, and is there anything else that I needed to ask him um, that he has that is new? Uh, anything about the dwarves or anything like that? No. Kai, okay, what about himself? Um, nothing. Nothing. No. We already did that one, I think. So I think that's... Oh yeah, and I wanted to see this list again. Um, so we've got... Because we're going to go to side with Mora, and I want to see if there's anybody there. Um, okay, we've got Shiorvar Horsemouth living in west of Aldrun. We're going to need to go there as well for the Mages Guild. Uh, Rithleen and so on are here in Bamora. Okay, so there's nobody. But in Caldera there's somebody. We're also probably going to make a stop in Caldera. Uh-oh. That book weighs too much. Oh no, 153. Well, we can put stuff down in here and, and I'll just deal with that later. 
Um, but yeah, now that we've done that, um, we can go talk to Shangro and Mazgob and do that quest um, as well. Um, but I don't, I don't think we're going to do that this episode. We'll come back to the main quest after we've done a little bit more side questing. But for now, we'll go do a little bit more side questing. And in the meantime, I'm going to deal with my inventory and stuff and come back. So I'll talk to you when I do that. Alright, so we're back at our little dead person's abode here in Balmora. We're renovating. Um, I'm going to move all my potions and stuff onto these shelves. Nicely organized. And the stuff that's on me is those shelves of consolidated down This is one of the weird things. The, the, the way you can place, you can place items in this game are really cool. Um, you can take these multiple items, like three glass pots, I'll show you, three glass uh, uh, pots, and put them down one at a time, uh, like that, or you can take the whole stack and put it down, I'm sorry, I, grabbed the, I didn't grab the whole stack, and put it down as one tangible object. And tangible is a relative thing, like, like there's other interesting things you can do with them. Oh, I can't really show you. I can kind of show you, but uh, yeah, you can take these decorative bowls. I can I can totally show you. Put them here, and then I can take these pots, all three of them, or or just one, whatever. And if I want to, if I find a spot that's like a ground, a spot that that is ground, like just like you would expect. Like this is a there's a little tiny point on here, exactly one pixel wide or something, that is uh, that is. Uh, considered flat or terrain or something and you can put this on top of it then and if, if that weren't silly enough let's put let's put the other thing back as well um what is burdening me right now uh probably probably books okay that'll do it for now if we take uh then if that balance weren't silly enough because there's no object physics in the game but there is objects like the objects do have hit boxes but they don't have they have really fine hit boxes actually but they don't have um, physics. So now we take that away, and honest to goodness, we have a floating, um, come on, a floating combination of three glass pots, just like that. So I'm planning to make a nice kind of um, floating. I'm gonna have kind of an overhead floating um, housewares art sculpture in this room. I think that's something I plan for using the stuff that just that is lying around in this in this building and any other housewares that I happen to accumulate that look like they might make interesting additions to it it'll be like kind of like a painting I've never seen anybody do something like this before uh, in this game or in a game like this just using a weird exploit of the game's physics to make a, a visual like kind of an abstract artwork and it might not even be that abstract because you might be able to make shapes or something I'm, I'm not sure it could end up being a really cool thing I've never really tried something like it either so it probably won't be that great it's probably gonna take a lot of like kind of drafts and versions to I, I mean not even be something I actually do but it was a cool idea all right let's see if we can get this thing over here yes I think I can uh, I can actually move this book to here oh you know what though this book we did read so we can move it to the red pile. Well, let's just get. It. Let's just put it down for now, and then move. Let's put all. Let's put these books both on the ground, actually. But anyway, yeah. I wanted to show you that we're going to do that, and I wanted to show you something else here as well. I forgot. Uh, before we, we we are in the interest of time, I have to keep moving. Um, I wanted to show you something I forgot to show you when I first showed you this house, which is something else that came with it. Yes, there's a bed. There's a balcony. There's a spacious living, open plan, living room, and dining and kitchen area. But on top of all that, and storage. But on top of all that, there's a tenant. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. She is 45 disposition toward me. She was employed by Rail and Hlalu, but she doesn't do jack for me. And uh, what's her trade again? What is, isn't it here? Didn't I just pass it? My trade, yeah. I'm a commoner. Um, and yeah, you still have a stuck-up attitude made for me. We have- ooh, wait, is that- that's lesson 22. See, at some point I'll have to- I might just kill her. I can't- I don't think there's any reason why I couldn't right now. I'm not sure if it would give me a bounty. Or if I can get away with it. Or if I, if I kill her, that's 20. So we do need 22. Hmm. So I don't know what's the best way of getting that. I'm sure we- maybe if we use invisibility at some point, but... I don't know if I want to kill her, if I can get away with killing her or what. But that's what I want to show you here now. Um, another thing we're going to do is head back to um, Mage's Guild. 
and make a trip to Caldera. And we need to go to Caldera for a couple of things. Um, first of all, I want to sell some stuff there. We're going to make multiple trips there. Um, but first of all, we'll make this one. <laughs> and then we'll see. Um, because right, I want to sell the Dwarven Dwar stuff I have at full price. Uh, part of me feels that money is so important in this right, game that, and at the same time, sort of tedious. So you kind of it's the it's the thing that you have now to grind. Not. Everything else is pretty fun, but um, money you have to do a lot of tricks to make Please. a lot of it. There are various ones. I'm going to show you one of them now, and another Hello. one is going to be something that becomes available here uh, in Caldera as well. Is it the frame. exit or... Oh no, it's the door. Okay. Um, there we go. Um, there is something here in Caldera to show you. Uh, a little dude that most people who play this game or have looked things up about this game relating to money online know about. It's a little scamp named um, Creeper. Uh, he lives in a manor. I think this is the manor. Yeah, Gorak Manor, where these orc, this orc group of people live for some reason, and I don't know what their story is. Um, and I'm not gonna find out right now. We can, I can delve into this anytime. But up here, there he is. A friend creeper. Now creeper is kind of an Easter egg or something. Um, he's creeping. He's in Caldera. Hello, Caldera! I am here all week. Help me out. I need the money. Come on, help us camp out. You gotta need something. I've got booze. Don't want to work. Just want to bang on my drum. What's the scamp gotta do? And then we got he's sort of a rock and roller or something. He's got a bone over there and some drums. So that's his deal. He sells an iron short sword, an ancient Dagoth brandy, which is not something you'd ever really want to drink, Cyrodiilic brandy, which is quite not bad actually. Uh, and uh, some other stuff, some other booze, right? He even sells skooma. Uh, now, what, what makes this guy kind of an exploit is that he'll buy almost every item in the game. I don't know, remember what the exceptions are, and he'll and he'll do it at face value. And not only that, he has five thousand gold, which is decent. Um, so this is worth three hundred. He'll give us three hundred, and so on. And that lightens us up quite a bit. Oh, he doesn't buy the expensive belt for some reason. But that's fine. Um, we can just use it for enchanting or something later. He'll give us 1170 gold for all that. Currently we have only 275, so... Oh, and we got these to sell too, these are great. Uh, so that'll give us 1970. So, it's like, this is one way to make money, is to go loot a bunch of valuable stuff, sell to him. It's fairly legit, okay? Another thing you can do is there's a teleportation spell you can get that you can put like a marker right here. And then there's a recall spell um, that then warps you to that marker wherever you are. It's a bit like, um, I believe this is sort of like Pharaoh's Wind in Ocarina of Time, if I remember right. There's a second balcony in here. Oh, cool. Um, no! Uh, and then, well, by the way, you can use this to get unstuck. Uh, but you probably know that already. And there we go. Um, but yeah. That's one thing that's here. Another thing that we can do, and what we're going to start getting into, is alchemy. And that's that's maybe, to me, seems more legit. Uh, like, you collect... I'm, of course, I'm storing them on a body with inf the ingredients on a body with infinite weight. So I don't know, you know, how realistic that is either. But, uh, wow, that was quick loading. How re but then again, you know, what's more important? Realism or having fun? I don't know. Personally, I think alchemy is pretty fun. So if we head up this way... To the top of this here stairway, we've got some ingredients to steal, which is nice. Not unsuper unguarded, unsupervised. Uh, fire salts. I found this myself, so I'm somewhat proud of that, as opposed to Creeper, who I saw online. We've got a Master's Mortar and Pestle, Master's Calciminator, or whatever, uh, Master's Retort, uh, some potion, resi po uh, potion resistance, poison resistance, I don't know, and an Alembic. What was it exactly? Standard. Poison resistance, right? And these two flasks that aren't worth much. And that's another way we can make money, is through alchemy. Um, and not to mention become, quote-unquote, overpowered. Although I don't know what is exactly meant by that. There are a lot of things that are overpowered in this game. Um, 
so I don't know, like acrobatics, <laughs> like, I don't know, um, it's just silly, there's a lot of really silly and fun stuff in this game, so we're going to pop back to Belmora and, whoop, and make some more, um, uh, play with our uh, alchemy a little bit too, um, probably, um, Making it over to Sad with Mora will be kind of the and joining the guild, uh, the House Delvani there, will be kind of the the finisher of yes, this episode, I think, and then we'll kind of get underway with them. That's the plan, anyway. So I'm gonna head over to my house. Look, at, oh, actually, it's quite nice though. It's actually the atmosphere right now. And what time is it right now? Uh, 8 p.m. This sort of dusk, twilight atmosphere is actually quite pleasant to walk in. So we'll go do that. And I can I can mention a little bit about where I've been. I've been working. Um, on other stuff, and the amount of time it takes to make these Morrowind videos is unfortunately longer than I like. Wow, this is very nice. That's this one. Um, a nice quick loading there. And we've got... Do, can we drop off ingredients here? We can. Um, it's unfortunately more than I'd like, and it's taking me... I have to streamline the process a bit. I have a way to do it, but I don't have the means to do it. Uh, I need to get more hard disk space is what it boils down to and then I can record in uh, with DX story and do um, I can, right now I use a program called shadow play which is very efficient in terms of system resources and recording size but it, it produces, produces a file that kind of file that is tricky for me to edit with and it doesn't record audio and video separately and that is I really I know too much about uh, video production to, to do that for long without wanting to kill myself so um, I'm going to have to, oh yes, yeah, so we're going to drop off the mortar and pestle and stuff here. So where are we going to put those? Where's going to be our alchemy station? I think since he's here, we should do it just right next to him. Just, uh, I guess here. Uh, anyway, I, I can't uh, go too long with the same setup I have, but I need a lot more hard disk space because DX Story, um, and, and, and I need a, a faster hard drive. Because DX Story literally won't record, and it's a different hard drive from what I'm using. Uh, DX Story won't record anything usable, anything approaching usable, uh, if you don't have something that that can keep up with it. Uh, and I can't be recording on the same program, on the same hard drive as I'm using, um, because it, it again will, will produce something that is totally unusable, and. Um, yeah, we're gonna make this stuff float all over the place. But for now, it just has to sit here. Like, frame rate is like 12 frames per second. It's it's crap. It's it's unusable. You can't even hear the audio. Um, so, uh, that is just not in my means. But I, it's much better program in every way except for that. So, um, I don't know. Uh, Shadow Play is something that, you come, that comes with NVIDIA um, drivers. Uh, NVIDIA graphics cards uh, of a certain caliber, and and it's you know, I, mean, uh, I guess I have to sell these at the crap shop. It's it works, but it's it's very basic. So that's the story, and it's been frustrating me and taking up a lot of time as I've had to do a lot of transcoding. See, I was trained in Final Cut Pro, and Final Cut Pro likes. 422 files and 422 files are gigantic and and a pain in the ass for me to, to I have to go work in Final Cut Pro in Mac mode. I'm working on, by the way, a dual boot P Mac, so this is PC mode of a Mac P computer. Anyway, it's all a big mess, man. A big mess. So, cool. We can access the ingredients here and this stuff here, so that's nice. Um, and this stuff we'll just have to deal with later. This is looking not very organized, but we're making some room in our inventory, and I'll go, uh, I think I'm going to go away and come back, um, but I just want to let you know that I feel sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for being behind, um, not really doing this every day like I want to, but I do want to, and I'm going to keep working on that, uh, getting better and getting more organized, and I have some other stuff starting up in my life right now as well that's going to take time, so I need to sort of get a schedule and keep it. Um, nice. Everything is set up nice and good here. And I'm going to come back in a little bit, perhaps when we're just about ready to go to um, uh, Sadrith Moor. 
All right, so this is Golden Self again. I'm back. I uh, I had the game crash a couple times while I was um, playing with Alchemy, going trying to alt tab. Just took a risk and that crashed the game. So I re I remade my uh, tried to remake the restore healths from before. I think I actually and might have ended up with uh, ended up with two potions from different ingredients. I think before we had two. I'm not 100 percent sure. I also, it was so frustrating, the number of problems I had um, between this recording and the last one, that I actually, it's, been, it's the next day, so I don't necessarily remember everything that, you know, if things are different, it's because I don't even remember, like, what even happened. It was late, it was terrible, it was, it was like, I had to, it took me back to, uh, oh, I don't know, some earlier point, and it was just, whatever it was, I felt overwhelmed, and enough of it. Enough of that. Uh, we're not going to worry about that. We're, nobody's perfect, right? Um, we've got 10 cheaper store health from somewhere. Okay. I think I must have been in the process of putting a bunch of... Uh, uh, putting these, like... I don't need 10 of these. I, I want, like... Uh, I think since I just made a couple restore health, I'll take, like, three. I'm, I'm stopping with the alchemy right now because I'm realizing... Uh, and I'm using this as a, uh opportunity to narrate a bit. Um, I'm realizing that I don't have enough ingredients to really do alchemy properly. If you look at what I have, actually, um, most of it is in small numbers. And what I have in decent num amounts are things that restore fatigue, and I don't really use fatigue much. I mean, I do, actually. Uh, but when, I've, when I need it, I need it. So I am going to make a bunch of fat restore fatigue potions. But, um, yeah, I'm... Well, of course I'm burdened, because, you know, because I'm carrying all these ingredients and stuff. So I I'll go ahead and do that. May as well do that right now. Um, but that's going to be about it for alchemy right now. And we might... I'm not sure whether we're going to buy uh, ingredients or what. Um, I think large quama eggs. Let's see what this does. Nothing interesting. I'm going to play with these and see if I can get anything uh, to make another... Have another effect as well. But in any case, uh, that's what's going on right now. And I think we're just going to end the episode with alchemy. Um... Hopefully, uh, with whatever I end up with out of that, um, and we'll just uh, see. Well, because we can't really go join House Tavani in the time we have left, unfortunately. So that's just basically gonna, this is basically going to do it for the episode. I have to say, you can tell by my tone how disappointed I am. I, w I thought we could do more, but we got a chance to show you, like how much are, how much money uh, how much are these three store health worth that we just made? Um, Forty two. Okay, now, these alchemical ingredients are very common, and you can buy them a lot cheaper than for what the potions that you sell them are worth, right? It's like you're a, this is how you actually run a business, right? You buy the raw materials, and then you sell the refined products for, for a higher price than you originally bought the raw materials. That's only natural. Um, I don't know, I, I'm assuming that my, uh, my, I actually have the stats t to do that. I think that it's, I think that it'll work like that no matter what your, your speech stats are, but, um, your barter stat is or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure that that's the case, I guess. But anyway, uh, <laughs> well, I'll have to make money at some point. I'll, I'll fortify barter and all that if I have to. Uh, I'll probably be fine on that account anyway. But for now, that's going to do it for this episode. I've been Golden Self. Thank you for watching. It's uh, truly an honor. Um, this When I crouch like this, it kind of looks like I'm bowing to you, but not enough. But that's the, that's the sentiment I would like to express. Um, yeah motion sickness. Anyway, um, enjoy your day free of motion sickness now that this video is over, and please subscribe, like, watch, comment, share. Um, I'm going to... I have a plan to do a video coming up that's going to be about where what this channel's about, where it's going, why I'm doing it. I don't know. I've been talking... I talked about it a while ago in my anime video, but um, that's... I haven't actually acted up on it. Now I actually have a plan. I have... I've ideated... I've made a plan, I've made investments so that the plan can be uh, executed, and I'm very, very close to executing this plan. I think actually, when we were doing the cinematic mode earlier, and it looked like me, like like I was like, oh, it's not as good as my little special presentations, I was talking about these like intros and outros where I try and do like some kind of dramatic angle, but in true fact, when you go watch that video, it's in this really cool lighting, and it's way better than anything I had done up to that point. So, apologies for my grandiosity. It's the nature of a beast. Anyway, I've been Golden Self. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please join us again next time. Bye-bye.